Ray James over at Expecto Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest Pokemon games and Hogwarts Legacy content. And today, you guys have been wondering, James, what did the Rolling Library send you in regards to the scoop for Hogwarts Legacy? And the information is already out. Retro Rocket Tour just put out a video and sent the information literally like an hour ago. Now, he probably saw the Rolling Library reach out to us this past weekend and reached out to them and then made the video. I've been working on confirming the information and I did just that. We're going to confirm the information that the Rolling Library sent us. We're going to get hyped over the information that they sent us and speculate how it can be implemented in Hogwarts Legacy. So if you have not done so already, be sure to Lumos. The subscribe button and notification bell so you miss out on more Hogwarts Legacy content. Without further ado, let's Accio the news. Now, let's start with quickly confirming the information and where you guys can find it. First, this information comes to us from the Rolling Library, who then sent us a PDF of a resume for one of the level designers for WB Avalanche, who has a website featuring all their responsibilities on aspects of Hogwarts Legacy. That level designer name is Tyler McCombs. Upon visiting Tyler's website, it has his portfolio with his work he did on Hogwarts Legacy, responsibilities, the whole nine. Particularly what stands out to me is the enemy camp process overview, research, planning, blackout, and iteration. Under research, he has analyzed level designs in open world games like Ghost of Tsushima, Last of Us 2, and Breath of the Wild. Amazingly beautiful, detailed, and dense open world games. The fact that the enemy camp aspect is going to be borrowed possibly from any of these games is amazing. It leads me to believe there's going to be some stealth involved with Hogwarts Legacy, maybe even working with NPCs or your allies trying to break into some of these enemy camps. Now, if you look at the Breath of the Wild, for example, one of the enemy camps looks just like the mask that we see in Hogwarts Legacy trailer for supposedly, we think, the villain of the game. So I can see that in a forested area in Hogwarts Legacy and us trying to break in and maybe release some Fantastic Beasts, which I think is going to be another focal point of this game. So that's just the research they put into to give us possibly some great open world enemy camp designs when playing Hogwarts Legacy. Now that we've revealed the information sent to us from the Rolling Library, confirmed the information and shown you guys where you can get it, Let's get into speculation right quick. Particularly, the enemy camp gameplay inspired from The Last of Us 2, Ghost of Tsushima, and Breath of the Wild. There's going to be a lot of exploring. There's going to be a lot of exploring. There's going to be lush and dense forests that we're going to be going through. There's going to be enemy camps everywhere. How many regions or sections are we going to be visiting? If there's enemy camps everywhere, does that mean there's going to be a ton of dark wizards we have to battle if we choose the good side and vice versa if we choose the bad side? Are all of the enemies dark wizards? Could they be trolls like we've seen in the trailer? Or could they be other fantastic beasts controlled by a dark wizard or a good wizard? This leaves so much space for interpretation because it could be anything and it's the wizarding world. I literally imagine myself sneaking in the forest, seeing a camp like structure like in Breath of the Wild where it looks like a skull, which could be where the dark wizards reside and maybe using a Leviosa spell to pick up a branch to throw it in the corner to distract some of the enemy foes so I can get in. Like, it leaves so much room for strategies and what spells to work on based on your style of play. And since we think Fantastic Beasts are heavily involved, particularly me, dragons, we might be going about freeing Fantastic Beasts from whatever the Dark Wizards are doing with these beasts or trying to get from them, whether it's the ancient magic. Speaking of ancient magic, 
Some of these enemy camps might be entryways to dungeons, which we've seen have runes, which is always attached to ancient magic. So they could be guarding secrets to ancient magic via the runes in the dungeons that they have set up camp at. There is so much, so much that is coming just from this website that we can speculate on and anticipate moving forward for Hogwarts Legacy gameplay. Yo, there is so much, so much to unpack, and I am so excited. Again, thank you. Thank you, Rolling Library, for sending us this information and giving us the quote-unquote scoop. I wish we got it to you guys sooner, but we're confirming a lot of this. Uh, we actually reached out to Tyler, emailed him, and uh, reached out to him on LinkedIn. So waiting to hear back on that, which is why I was going to put off this video to the end of the week. But nonetheless, man, what do you guys think? How are you guys feeling about this news so far? Are you excited? Are you hyped? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk some Hogwarts Legacy news. I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and hanging out with your boy. I cannot wait to talk to you guys more about this. Uh, we're gonna have our live stream Friday, this Friday, just hang out and just talking about Hogwarts Legacy. So if you guys wanna hang out and join in on the discussion, Yo, be sure to be there. Um, also, follow us on our various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Discord, uh, particularly Discord, where we would just be chatting and hanging out with the, some of the members in the community. Until next time.